Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just got these in the mail today from my friend Papa Gord over in Canada. He had been looking for a few of the Target exclusives, such as Saw Gerrera and Tika, and so we organized a little trade, and I sent those over. I'm really excited to have these in. I was really looking forward to these, especially the Purge Trooper. We see the generic Kenobi blurb up here on the back. They didn't really give specific character descriptions on any of the Kenobi figures. And then we see that these are number 7 and 8, which means... The Tibidon Station Obi-Wan Kenobi is number 6, and that's the one that is missing from my collection currently. I don't think he's shown up anywhere yet, even overseas, but he will be a Target exclusive. That's basically the same as the other Wandering Jedi Kenobi, just with the blue clothes. Let's go ahead and get one Jack opened up here. Taking a look here, there's nothing too surprising on this figure that we haven't seen before. This is just the Forlom figure with a different paint job. I really do like this kind of gunmetal paint that is all over his whole body here, and sort of the like turquoisey sea green blue on his eyes. I think they look pretty neat. There isn't very much articulation in the arms. He does have a little bicep swivel here. If you have the Forlom figure, which you probably do if you're going to be picking up this guy, uh, you kind of know what to expect from the articulation here. This gun is a brand new sculpt, I'm pretty sure, and I really like the way it looks. It's kind of a cool design. I'm sure it's quite accurate to the show itself. It fits nicely into his hands. I'm really digging the red bandolier that goes across his torso here. I think this is going to look really nice on custom figures. Like, it's just going to be a really good generic piece to get. He's got these little thigh holsters as well. That's also a new addition. And then... His eyes have the same kind of shine through effect that Forlom had, but it's very subtle. You really have to get a light like right up to it. So I don't think it's really that interesting of a feature because there's no way that you can actually really display him like that, but could be cool for toy photography perhaps. The articulation on the elbows is still the really poor articulation that we've seen on other protocol droid figures, as I believe this is the same mold that we've seen for quite a while. Here is the Forlom figure that uh, we've had for quite a few years now in the Black Series, and you can see it's pretty much the exact same sculpt all around, everything from the back piece to the feet. The only difference is the bandolier and then that little wrist piece, uh, the little detonator on his wrist, I believe. But I know that you guys are really here to see the Phase 2 Purge Trooper. This got everyone really excited when it showed up in live action. We hadn't seen Purge Troopers other than in Jedi Fallen Order. I'm really digging the box art on both of these. We see a little bit of the Grand Inquisitor's arm over here on the right. He is number 9 in the series. And I really love the little triptych here of Reva, the Grand Inquisitor, and the Fifth Brother up here on top of the Purge Troopers box art there. Let's go ahead and get him opened up here. This isn't anything too shocking. We have seen this body before on a lot of different troopers, including the other Purge Troopers. I do believe that the right shoulder pad and the pauldron are new pieces. And then he's got his little backpack here, which I do think is a new addition. Even though there is a lot of reuse on this figure, I do have that kind of new figure feeling when I open him up. I didn't feel that with One Jack as much, but this it just seems like a really fun new sculpt and I'm excited to kind of mess around with it. I don't love the way that his little camo piece here, the little skirt, uh, lays. It looks a little bit warped from the box, but maybe if I hit it with some water and let it sit and dry out for a bit, it might kind of find its shape a little better. I don't think that we've seen this weapon before. I think this is all new from the show. Very cool looking. Could use a little bit of a dark wash and some metallic dry brushing. I'll probably hit it with that pretty soon, just to bring it to life a little bit. I will get him into my standard clone pose, the only pose I ever do with my stormtroopers. Which actually is the pose that he does in the show, I'm pretty sure. But let's take a look at him compared to the Jedi Fallen Order Purge Trooper. We can see some differences in the forearms, the shoulder pieces, and obviously the helmet. The skirt piece is also a little bit different too, as well as a little backpack piece. So there is a decent amount of new sculpting on the new Purge Trooper. Just enough to like make me happy, I guess. <laughs> like no complaints here. I think it looks exactly like it is supposed to. And the little bits of red detail on the belt and elsewhere on the figure, like the little bicep piece there are pretty cool. So let's take a look at those together. I love the way that the little bits of red pop. These are going to look really cool on the shelf, especially next to the fifth brother and Reva. Now before we go, I don't have enough of the Kenobi figures to do a proper shelf series, and I will hit that when we get there. But in the meantime, why not have a little fun and make a quick little shelf series video using the figures that we have so far? Let's start with Tika. Let's put her down here. This is a 3D printed uh, T16 that I made. 
These are her little accessories that just kind of flesh out the piece a little bit. I actually love the way that those all look together. This is a scoundrel stock head on Vader that I painted. I kind of messed up his uh, little helmeted eye, but we'll stick him right here. And we'll surround him by some Inquisitors. We'll put Reva the third sister right on his right here. And then the fifth brother can go over here on the left. I really like this pose I did for him. It just kind of keeps his lightsaber out of the way of other figures. I don't have stands on these guys yet, so we're just gonna stick him right there. I think I'm going to prefer the Tibidon Station Obi-Wan Kenobi over the Wandering Jedi one, but here he is with my little Lola stand that I 3D printed for him. And then we have the final piece, which is the Purge Trooper. I didn't realize how much red was part of the color palette of this series, but seeing all of these together, there is a lot of black and red going on, a lot of Imperial representation here, which I think looks awesome. Anyway, that is all for today. Hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and I will see you all next time.